you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching yes uh, Lai Mohamed uh, came in Olu lawyer and the uh, bodies that need to apologize to nigerian youth alpha panel report uh, it is a trending news that uh, the Lagos Judicial Panel that was set up to investigate the shooting incident uh, which took place at Lekki Thogate on the 20th of October uh, 2020 has released its findings after months of broad questioning and investigations. The panel which ind indicted the Nigerian Army, uh, the Nigerian Police and Lekki Concession Company, LCC, confirmed that protesters were actually shot at the Lekki Thogate. Further stating that the Nigerian police and the army acted out of their rules of uh, engagement. The panel also accused LCC of manipulating CCTV evidence and that would have revealed the events of the dreadful incident. Uh, why would they, you know, uh, remove or manipulate the uh, CCTV camera? Uh, that should be an evidence uh, enough. Um, later, uh, they sent a uh, fashion to just come and spy and you know start looking uh, back and forth. Fashion law, on the other hand, uh, is working for the federal government and they say uh, this thing happened in Lagos, uh, which is a state government. So, what are they uh, looking for? Well, government officials like Eli Mohammed, who constantly claim that no one was killed in the Lekki attack, have come under every criticism after the judicial panel revealed its findings. Below is a list of uh, individuals and bodies. Uh, we will have to apologize to Nigerian youth after downplaying Lekki massacre in the past. Well, uh, Lai Mohammed, as he is being called, uh, is the Minister of Information and Culture, uh, called the attack on protesters at Lekki a hoax on more than four occasions. <clears throat> he denied the occurrence of any attack at the toll gate in several television interviews. Uh, but the minister now needs to apologize uh, to Nigerians, especially the youth, after the judicial panel revealed that civilians were actually killed and injured at the Lekki toll gate on 20th of October 2020. Hmm. Well, uh, in October, a proprietary group uh, led by Opoku Ogeni had also gathered at the Unity Fountain in Abuja stating that the Lekki massacre was a hoax uh, set up to destabilize the administration of President uh, Muhammadu Buhari. Uh, the group needs to retract its statement and uh, apologize to Nigeria also. Uh, those are uh, the people who have also, you know, said that uh, the Lekki massacre was fake and uh, the news was fake. Mm. Kemalu lawyer also uh, is one of them. Uh, the controversial journalist had earlier claimed that Nobody was killed in the shooting incident, uh, which took place at Lekki on 20th, 10, 2020. Uh, she also needs to apologize to Nigerian youth. Mm. And the Nigerian army also, also debunked the news. Uh, they said that the Nigerian army have been taxed with the assignment of fishing out its personnel that were present at Lekki at the night of the shooting incident. Uh, the military body, which initially denied, had uh, been present at the toll gate. He needs to apologize uh, to Nigerians for the mischievous and uh, unethical conduct of its personnel. Mm. Uh, the Nigerian police, which is the height, uh, I would say, uh, they are the major cause of this problem, the major cause of protest. And the Nigerian police will also have to tender its apology to Nigerians as its officers were indicted in the Lekki uh, shooting by L Lagos Judicial Panel. Uh, the police force uh, should investigate its officers. Uh, who were reportedly uh, present at Lekki Togi on the night of the shooting. Yes, these are uh, the you know so-called um, entity and bodies and people uh, who have uh, you know denied that uh, allegation uh, that do, those youth uh, do not you know uh, know what they are saying that they are all lies uh, by you know trying to you know blackmail uh, the federal government or the uh, military uh, or the police force who came to you know shoot sporadically and also uh, to make sure uh, that they also get justice as it is mm, what is justice is justice not uh, coming to them hmm. well uh, 
I believe uh, Nigerians uh, have, you know, seen and heard. But uh, so many people will not really get down, or uh, this uh, article will not really get down well with them, or the panel uh, that has been set up by the governor of Lagos State. Uh, some persons, I don't know, uh, maybe out of uh, greed or out of, uh, uh, what's it called, out of uh, insensitivity or ignorance. Like this person uh, says his name is Olawale Olisa. I, well, I wouldn't believe if the, this person truly uh, has said what I want to read, which he has said. Now, maybe he has been paid to do that, but I don't know. But according to Olawale Olisa, who says, Nonsense panel, uh, who are those killed? Hmm. People died in Lagos. There was shooting at Lekitho Gate, but there was no massacre. Simple. Namdekano that ordered the burning down of Lagos uh, was not indicted. Uh, those that burned uh, down Lagos was not indicted. If the panel found out people was massacred, who are the families of the victims? When uh, this uh, houses collapsed in Lagos, we saw victims' family. Any panel that lawyer Ebunluwa Adeburwa says will work against government. Okay, I don't even understand what he's saying. Maybe it's a personal uh, thing uh, concerning the Ebunluwa, whatever, whatever. Well, I know uh, there will be backlash. Mm -hmm. They say you are a mumu. Well, in essence, because you can't see uh, air, means it doesn't uh, exist. Okay, he <laughs> say because you cannot see the wind or the air, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Bro, get real. This has nothing to do with Kanu or anybody. It's negligence on the part of the government that unleashed armed men on innocent civilians agitating for their right uh, to uh, life. Uh, well, I would say, or let me even reply, uh, this uh, person who says his name is uh, Lawale Ngolisa, uh, as you can see, that that name doesn't even uh, correspond. I believe uh, he's one of those Sulanese uh, that have been said on opera news or every social media to destabilize people that are saying the things as it is so to, to cause chaos also uh, in the media especially in this opera news i've been seeing you know few of them of uh, them trying to you know uh, change the narratives and trying to you know black male or cause a uh, rift among people commenting well i would say uh, concerning what he has said I will just ask uh, this person just one question. I don't know if it's a man or a woman, uh, but I believe uh, he's a full and by God. I want to ask him just one question by saying it's a nonsense panel. Mm. If your sister or your brother was among those uh, that went on the protest and was killed, will you even have uh, 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 the, the, the progress and the confidence to even get a phone? Let alone, you know, open up brand news and be listening to news and let you know commenting on every article that comes because you might be destabilized. And it could be that that your sister or your brother uh, is the bread or was the breast breadwinner of your family. Mm. You may not even have money to buy that out. Mm. Or, oh, well, I don't want to, you know, go further because he replies uh, on this. Uh, your uh, so-called uh, uh, statement is over 85 and people are very very angry over what uh, you have uh, said well uh, to continue let's just feel or oh, let's leave uh, that person alone uh, someone says apology is not enough mm, exactly my brother my uh, atrocities they have committed and the blood of the innocent uh, may it kill and continue to cry for vengeance on their heads mm, that is amen from somebody mm, abu where people died and you just want to say sorry. Uh, well, sorry, compensate for uh, life loss. Well, you indict, indicted the army that were called to the toll gate but did not indict the Lagos state governor who called them in the first place. Wow. And that is another pain point uh, by, you know, reminding us uh, that the Lagos state governor uh, was uh, the one who sent them. I don't know. Uh, someone said the Lagos state government uh, claimed it invited the army but didn't give them the order to shoot protesters okay you invited them and they shot so they worked for you uh, under the evolution so it's best uh, to just you know get them arrested those that perpetrated that uh, evil act uh, but you didn't give them the order but well, definitely if it uh, were uh, to be in Namdekano, like that uh, idiot said the other time that in Namdekano they didn't indict him, that he would send something, some. if it were to be in Namdekano or Sunday, but who told those or instructed some people to go and chase out uh, uh, the full line? Uh, but now he came and said he did not you know, tell them to kill him or kill them or shoot them, but he only said, said they should uh, send them away. 
But the long run American was arrested. Not even arrested, was kidnapped. So you're not telling me uh, that because uh, you uh, he ordered them to go, uh, but he did not tell them to shoot. Um, that is uh, 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 that is for a kid. Um, no, uh, we are not kids. We are not gullible in Nigeria. But let's just you know leave it. Let, let the sleeping dog lie. Well, so in essence, if you hired a hired killer, because you are not uh, the one that pulled the trigger, you are not also guilty of the crime. The government should be indicted as well. Okay, according to this person that says the Lagos state government claimed it invited the army but didn't give them the order uh, to shoot protesters. Uh, well, that is a story for another day. Let's just leave uh, that. Nigerians don't need the, the apologies. Uh, they all have blood on their hands. May the blood of the innocent haunt all those involved for the rest of uh, their lives, uh, which uh, has been said here. Well, uh, this is where I'm going to draw the curtain. I would like you to, you know, push on the comment section and don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notifications. Thanks for listening.